On this video guys, we're going to talk about the Dell Inspire in 2019. The thing that you guys have to do is to remove all the screws around and start lifting the actual below cover from the top cover to separate them. The best thing to use, it will be a plastic card or the guitar plastic tool or triangle plastic tool to slide it over and separate the chassis. Now you, when you have access to the actual, uh, to grab both panels, softly and gently, go ahead and separate both, both parts. And now you're gonna have access to the different part of the computer, like the battery, memory RAM, Wi-Fi card, hard drive, fans, the fans and the SSD slot or flash storage. Let's take, let's take a look uh, around it. You could see the battery there. And here I'm going to put the actual specification for each part. If you want to pause the video, you could go ahead and take a look. Where are the parts located? We have the hard drive there. We're going to upgrade it to uh, SSD solid state drive. And the best thing that I recommend you to do is to disconnect the terminal from the battery first before going to all the steps. You take out the connector and you have four screws around it take out those screws and make sure you remember how the hard drive goes once you take it out so in that way you put the ssd in the same way with the same position of the terminals we put back the actual ssd on place and we put the screw that are holding the metal Will be four screws holding the actual hard drive or SSD. This is the DDR4 memory RAM. You have available two slots. You are able to put two of eight DDR4, two sixteen of uh, up to total of the thirty-two gigabytes. To take it out, you have to slide over the clips and then pull it up. You have four screws right here holding the heat sink on the below part. You have the CPU and video chipset. It's an all-in-one piece. To be able to take out this, you have to actually unsolder and solder the new one. Take it to a professional, you're going to proceed with that. You could damage the motherboard easily. Now let's put back this heat sink. This is the SSD or M2 flash storage. If you wanna guys uh, want to put that, you have available a slot there. That's the Wi-Fi card, wireless card. You have the fans, the fan there, and that's the connector. I recommend you to disconnect the battery at the beginning of this procedure and if you want to take out the battery you remove the screws that are holding it and you can see the actual battery it will be four, uh, four or five total screws on it that's the trackpad below the battery that's the USB with the CMOS battery the BIOS battery now you could put back the actual case or the actual cover and you put the screw back in. Before closing it, don't forget to put the battery back in, the connector. Now you could go ahead and turn it on and we could see the specs of the actual laptop. The system memory has changed, of course, because we swapped the memory RAMs and there you could see all the specification of the actual laptop. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it below.